because this is our time with the Lord. So, welcome to our kids' church. So, are you ready? Because today we will talk about the story of Daniel and his three friends. But before we do that, we will have our time of prayer, worship, where we sing for God, and we dance. And of course, after which, we will be listening to the story of Daniel and his three friends. So before we do anything, let's offer this time to the Lord with a prayer. So let's put our hands together and let's bow down our heads and close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for today. Thank you also for our time with you. May you guide us and teach us with your word. May we also have a wonderful and joyful time with you. In Jesus' name, Amen. All right. Verse 
for one fifty. First, be the one fifty and be a holy from every aspect of your life. Just ask God who called you is holy. First Peter 1 15. Hello kids! This is Teacher Melissa. How are you today? Wow! That is awesome! Me too! I feel great! Today, we are going to be learning another Bible story. How does that sound to you? <laughs> Me too! I'm very excited! Let's begin! Today's Bible story is found in the book of Daniel chapter 1. King Nebuchadnezzar selected the smartest and the best young men from the prisoners his country had captured during the war and had them brought into his palace. Daniel and his friends were among them. The king knew that if he could get them do what he said, he could turn them away from God and make them serve him instead. So he brought Daniel and his friends into his courts and had his officials teach them the language of the Babylonians and the Babylonians' customs. He tried to get them to forget all their Jewish customs and their religion. Daniel and his friends recognized what the king was doing and didn't listen to what he had to say for a moment. So then the king placed before them a banquet table of food and wine. The problem was that the food and wine were against what God instructed them to eat. God told them to eat only certain kind of foods, but the king was trying to force them to make a choice. Were they going to obey God or were they going to obey the king? What do you think? Daniel and his friends decided to obey God. So Daniel and his friends had to make a choice. They could choose to compromise and break God's rules, following the crowds just like everybody else. Or they could choose to obey God. So, what did they choose? They decided that they are not going to go against what God told them. Even if it meant that they will be sent out of the king's palace and back to the prison, they were not going to compromise. Daniel and his friends told the king's officials, I would like to ask permission to eat only the food that God has commanded us to eat. Did you notice something? Daniel did not go to the chief official and say, Listen, I am not going to do what you say. God said not to. I am not going to listen to you. So there. He chose what was right. But he did it with a right attitude. 
he asked for permission. So Daniel told the chief official that he had a plan. He said, Let me and my friends eat the food that God told us to, and let all the other young men eat the king's food and wine. At the end of ten days, if we do not grow stronger and healthier, then you can punish us. The chief official agreed, and Daniel and his friends ate only the food that God told them to eat. Ten days passed, and it was time to compare them. Guess what? Yes! Not only that Daniel and his friends look as good as others are, they look better and stronger and healthier. The chief official saw that Daniel and his friends were stronger and wiser than all the rest. He decided they were allowed to eat only the food that God had told them to eat. And they were appointed to the king's service. What did you learn from the story? Oh yes, you need to always obey God. That is right. It's quiz time. Ready for the first question? Number one question. Who was the prisoner along with his friends that was brought to the king? Letter A, Danny. Letter B, Tanya. Letter C, Tom. Think, think, think. Hmm. I think you have the answer already. And I believe you are correct. It's letter B. Daniel! Question number two. What was the king's name? A. King Arthur. B. King Darius. C. King Nebuchadnezzar. Thank you again. Hmm. You got it right once again. It's letter C. King Nebuchadnezzar. Question number three. True or false? King Nebuchadnezzar wanted Daniel and his friends to follow God. A. True. B. False. Think again. What is the correct answer? Hmm. I think you're ready. And you were right. It's letter B. False. Question number four. True or false? Daniel and his friends were stronger and wiser than the others after eating the food that God told them to eat. Letter A, true. Letter B, false. Time to think again. Okay, this should be easy. And I think you got it right again. It's letter A. True. Question number five and the last. Where was the power first found? Letter A, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Letter B, John 3, 16. And letter C, 1 Peter 1, 15. What do you think is the answer? Hmm. 
I think he got it already. And the correct answer is letter C. First, Pier 115. Yay! My name is Anna Chaska Mele Avila, and my favorite vegetable is squash because it's yummy and good for my eyes. My name is Coco, I think. Hi, my favorite vegetable is carrot. Hi everyone, my name is Coco. My favorite vegetable is squash. Hi, I'm Tracy. My vegetable is potato because it makes French fries. Hi, my name is Jerome. My favorite vegetable is potato because it's healthy. It's Yummy and super strong. Hello, my name is Sky. My favorite vegetable is squash. And it's so yummy, I'm young. Hi, my name is Daya and my favorite vegetable is carrot because it's good for the eyes and for the skin. Hello kids, I'm back. Did you learn a lot today? Did you enjoy it today? Yeah! Oh well, me too. So, next time, you invite your friends. Only here at King's Kids. This time, I encourage you all to stand up. And let us end this with a prayer. Let's Fold our hands, bow our heads, and close our eyes. Let us pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this wonderful day. Thank you for the fun and learning. Today, I ask you, God, that you will allow me to be like Daniel and his friends. Make me more obedient to you. Thank you, Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for watching, kids. See you next Sunday. Bye-bye. God bless you.